Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. This is uh, this is Dash Show Rose here. I am here to um, to talk about some more Pixar movies. But before I get any further, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm at 129 subs. Thank you guys for the support. I'm, I'm finally getting up there. Thank you guys. I really appreciate people who actually like my content. Wait, that, that, that came out wrong. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. I meant to say I, I'm glad people appreciate my content. That's what, I didn't mean to say it so demandly and like that. Sorry about that. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to review this Pixar movie. So without any further ado... Let's get into the review, shall we? Matcha! C! Bronzon! That's me trying to do French. I, 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 I'm I trying to practice, you know, French and stuff for the, for the video. I don't really know much about fr French language, though, so, uh... Sorry about that. Don't mind me, though. How is Ratatouille? How is, how is this movie? Because it takes place in a restaurant, and when it comes to restaurants, you either exceed or you fail. And by exceed, the, the, food, the food must smell very good. It, it has to be very good and tasty. Does this film tasty, or does it leave a, 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 a sour taste in your mouth? Well, I gotta say that, mmm, 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 this, this film is delicious. This film is delicious. It's scrumptious. It is just fantastic. This film is fantastic. I just love this film. I love this film so much. Lula la la, as French people would say. This this film is very fantastic. I love this film so much. Basically, though, well, basically the uh, the I'm gonna go ahead and give it a score real quick, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go straight into why it gets this score. This movie is is flat out getting 120 points. This is for real. This film, this film is just tasty. It's delicious and scrumptious. I, I really like this film so much. I really do. And here's the thing. I, when I was little, I didn't like this film too much. When I was little, I, I, I didn't like the way French people sounded. I didn't like it. Um, I don't know what, what I was thinking when I was little. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't mind French people. French people, you know, it's got the Eiffel Tower and stuff. Now, I don't know much ab about languages and stuff. I just try my best to do languages. Um, I'm not I don't really know a lot of languages for, for French people. I, I, don't, I know Z. Z, I think Z means uh, yes. And, um, and there's also bonjour, I think is a, is a French word too. But I don't know as much French as Spanish. I know more Spanish than, you know, French from Dora Explorer. Yeah, I watched Dora Explorer when I was younger, too, but, you know. But, but basically, though, this film is just fantastic. I, I, I love this film. I, 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 love it. I love this film so much. I, really, I think it's fun. Now, I, don't, I wouldn't say it, it's as good as, as, um, as, toy, as Toy Story 2 or... Or, uh, or Monsters, Inc., or a Buzz Lightyear Star Command. So far, nothing's beat Buzz Lightyear Star Command. So far, that's my favorite Pixar film, and nothing's beat it yet. Maybe something down the road will be, because there's a lot of films I have not seen yet. Or I haven't seen in a while. Um, and, 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 and Up is a movie I have not seen in a while. I don't remember much about that film, besides it's a about... Um, an old guy losing his wife and uh, all that, and I guess he's very cranky and stuff. I don't, and there's that villain death, obviously, but 
I, I don't I don't know much much about um I, I don't I don't know much about Up though. But this movie I I don't know if I've seen it because I've seen Up years ago, but I don't know if I've seen this film before or not. Some scenes look familiar, but I don't I don't remember. I don't think I've seen all of this movie that I'm aware of. I think I've only seen parts of it because um, a lot of it doesn't look familiar. No, not not not, not the part the part where he's controlling you know the, the, the rats controlling the scat as humans on head and stuff it, like a puppet. I I, th I think I remember that part of the movie, and I've seen it on Robot Chicken too. They used it as a sitcom, well, well a gag where he's sleeping with this with this um you know his girlfriend in bed you know and all that, but. I think I remember seeing that in the movie, but but I, but I have, I have not really I have not you know I don't think I've ever seen the entire movie. So I think this might be the first Pixar movie that I have not seen it hardly at all. I I can I have seen pieces of it, but but I basically have gone in this film bl completely blind with fresh eyes, and I gotta say I do not regret a thing. This film is really good. It really is. I especially like like the the start of the movie where like they're in this old woman's house and she uses a shotgun. Who uses a shotgun to freaking blow up rats? That's crazy. It's cra it's crazy, you know how 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 like she just shoots him with a gun. It's pretty funny though. I didn't laugh. Trust me, I don't, I don't really laugh too too much. I can smile very easily, but I don't laugh. I mean, you didn't really make me smile either. Usually, I smile when I'm embarrassed or something. So, uh, yeah. But but I, I, I still thought it was very enjoyable to see that lady use a, a shotgun. I think it was a shotgun to, like, to, to, to kill the rat. That was, that was actually pretty funny. But 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 then they get they get separate. Um, well, I don't remember his name. Um, I, don't, I actually don't remember... Um, the name of this um of this rat I don't, I don't think they actually address the names of these characters too much I was trying to listen to it like when I was watching the movie but I could not for the life of me hear a lot of the um names now they 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 they, they have this um this one chef guy a, a, a illusion um He's the only human that can understand him. The, 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 the main blue rat guy. He, he's the only one that can understand him. And that, that's, only, that's only because he, um, he's a imagination. You know, he's, he's a, the rat's imagine, imagining him. But I, I, I think they have a bunch of great moments with him. I think they do. I, I wish he was just a ghost. I, I kind of wish it wasn't really imagination. It was actually a ghost. Now I, I could you could argue too that the the whole the whole he, uh, humans not understanding you know the animal thing like is kind of a stupid trope and all that but I think it works here it works really well here because it makes it creates a plot and stuff where like you know where, where like he can't he can't really you know explain you know to everyone you know about the rat well, well him being a rat. Helping someone out in the hat, so I can understand that. But I kind of wish the the original chef guy was that the big fat guy. You know, I kind of wish he was um you know uh, actually a ghost that could understand. Maybe in the afterlife you could understand you know animals or something. I don't really know, but that would have been nice. But but overall though, overall yeah, it's got a lot of great gags there, and then like. It's not really a, a a super duper duper funny movie. I think Pixar is more more aimed for for being more serious, not really funny. So unlike Illumination and DreamWorks, where they in Blue Sky, where they try to be funny, it feels like they're trying to be more emotional here. Basically, the rat has has a dream. He wants to you know. He doesn't like stealing food from humans, so he he decides to he he decides to you know um you know like you know I don't I don't he ends up you know not wanting to help this this guy this guy at first, but he ends up helping him out because they I don't know they make a great team and I think it works their duo works out pretty good together they work out good they help each other out and stuff and I like that. 
I really like that a lot. And, and I, I like the little short chef guy. He's not really a, a bad guy. He, he really isn't like a super bad guy. Um, but he's like, he, he's, he's more evil than Sid. We'll say that he's more evil than Sid, but he's not really like a super bad guy. He's just a, yeah, he, he is kind of a, a bad guy though because he's, he's trying to, you know, keep the restaurant to himself, even though the, the, um, the skinny, um, curly haired guy, you know, is a rightful owner of, of the restaurant because his father, you know, is actually, you know, the, the, uh, the, was the original owner, so. So, uh, so, yeah, so, um. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, interesting how he tries to hide it, but. I, I don't know, what's really weird or too, I mean, I do have some problems with the movie. I do have some problems with it, but that's more towards at the end of the movie, which where the problems are at. At the end of the movie, like, you know, uh, everyone, like, we get this, like, um, like, we don't get the lie reveal plot. We get, like, a, a plot where, like, where, like, everyone is, like, uh, calling him crazy and stuff, even though he, that the rat, the rat was on its head and, sh and literally was moving his body around, but they still, they still called, they freaking were still thinking he was crazy. Everyone left him. And that only went on for like, like, maybe 30 seconds. It was like 30 seconds, a waste of, of a time of the movie. And then like, I think the whole plot of, of the restaurant getting shut down at the end of the movie was kind of stupid too. I kind of wish they would have kept it open and all that, but, but, but I think overall, overall, it, it's, those were only nitpicks. This film is really good. I think all the characters are really likable. They really are. They're all likable in this movie. For the first time in a while. Because in Cars, Cars, Monsters, Inc. Um, you know, Monsters, Inc. Finding Nemo and all that. There's characters that kind of get on my nerves a bit. Like, like even a Bugs Life. There was, there's characters that, that drove me nuts. Finding Nemo, not as much. I think Dorothy was just slightly annoying because of, you know, her forgetting it, forgetness and all that. But, but like, Monsters, Inc. had Mike. He was freaking annoying. So was, um, you know, the, the, the ants from A Bug's Life. They were annoying, too, in a little bit. Um, they, they, none of these characters really took away from the film, except Lightning McQueen. He took away, he kind of uh, destroyed cars, which, which, which is a shame because, um, you know... It's a shame because that was the last uh, Pixar movie to use, um, you know, the, the, um, the classic, you know, theme. Even though it was a remix, it was still a classic theme. Um, I think it's the Randy, um, something, it's called Randy something, I don't remember what the last name is, but it's kind of sad that, that it ended on Cars. Now, the castle does appear in this film too, but the, the theme is gone. There's no more themes for this. The last time it was used was in Cars. So, uh, yeah. The castle will appear a few more times, though it will. But, but yeah, it's just kind of sad that, that, it, it, that, that um, Cars was the one that, that ended it off and all that. And just, it was just sad. But, but overall, though, overall, though I, I think this film is pretty good, actually. It was pretty good. Also, this is a fun fact too. Um, th th this this film too was actually actually came out almost a year before Wally did. Like, I'm not joking. I, I looked at I was looking at the release date and looked underneath it. It told me the release date for the other films. This film came out almost a year before Wally did. That's really crazy how that how close they are. They were literally the same month, only a couple of days apart from an entire year. That would have been cool if Wally came out a year later. That would have been cool, like exactly a year later. But I don't know. But that's pretty crazy how that is. Um, and um, and this is the fir the first Pixar movie to use um the Disney 
rewards thing too. Because before that, um, cars and stuff, they didn't use it and stuff. They didn't start using the rewards thing until, um, until, you know, when, um, well, until Ratatouille. Now, they were using it in their other films, too, like the Disney, the Walt Disney side, but, yeah. Personally, I, I think the rewards thing was pointless because, um, a lot of the films, they, they redid all of them and they, they redid all their films and stuff and they... Got rid of, you know, the classic intros and stuff they used, like the 2D animated one and stuff, the CGI one. So I, I think the reward thing was, was pointless, because you're not going to get the original experience, you know. I mean, obviously they're going to cha they're gonna change up, you know, the, the DVDs a little bit for advertisement purposes. But they could have kept the, you know, intros and stuff in there, but I, I don't know. But I, I'll get more into that when I do Wally -E because I don't want to go, go blabbering on too much about this. I want to get it all done in Wally -E so that way I don't have to bring it up anymore. I can just stop talking about it. But yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll probably bring it up occasionally after that because there's some things I want to point out that I thought was interesting about it. But I won't I'll probably bring it up a lot, more, like hardly anymore after, you know. The Wally -E movie, but 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 I I don't know though. But I man, th th this is per this is pretty um this is pretty uh, interesting though. How um you know like how this film you know handles things and stuff. I think it works pretty good. Now again, I don't I don't think the the film is is as good as Monsters, Inc. or something. But I think I'll put it above, I'll put it above Toy Story. I'll definitely put it above Toy Story. Probably uh, even above, above, um, um, The Incredibles. I'll put it above Incredibles, too. I, I think this film is just really good. I think it's, it's, it's got great moments and stuff and all that. I, I just think uh, The Incredibles, is, well, not, well, not The Incredibles, I mean, the, uh, I, I think I'm, um, you know, Monsters Inc. is a bit better stuff. Even though I gave this, well, technically I gave this one 120 points, but 120 points mean it. This, I, I think it's about time I bring this up. Actually, the score does not does not mean that the the film is always better than its predecessor or something like that. It, it just means it, it it judges it by how many flaws it has. So it doesn't. The, the score does not mean like that it's it's better than this. So so like j just because like just because I could, it got you know a, be a better score than than Monsters Inc does not mean it's better. I think Monsters Inc is just a lot more funnier and stuff. I think it's got a, like better villains, but Monsters Inc has more flaws with it in the movie. That's why it got a hundred points, not hundred and twenty. This one's getting 120 because it's got it's got a, a better plot and stuff. That goes for cars and in a bug's life. Now, honestly, with them, I don't know which one is better because they're both kind of got problems. But I might do a versus on them down the road on which one's better. But but yeah, basically though, um, but that doesn't mean this film is better because it's got a higher score. That just means it's got less flaws in the movie, which is a pretty good thing because. It's really rare we'll see movies with, with, with less flaws, but but still, I, I think this movie's still really good and all that, and I definitely might give this a rewatch down the road, and I recommend this film to anyone, anyone. But I'm gonna go ahead and probably end up letting this go. Oh yeah, before I do, I must give I give a comment question too. The comment question for um for this movie is um. What do you guys think of Paris? Um, I've never been to Paris. Um, it would be nice to kind of visit those places, but um, you know, due to me not liking planes and stuff, I probably won't ever visit that stuff. But what do you guys think about Paris? Do you guys think Paris is a, a neat place or something? Because I, I think it'd be nice to go to Paris, Paris or China or something. But the problem is, again, it's just all, all, all this, um, you know, COVID stuff, and then I, the fact I got to ride a plane. I don't really like, so, uh, yeah. But tell me in the, your thought, thoughts on it in the comments below, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Anywho, bye.